Removal is probably not from Peller's great hit. Probably don't need Majime. I mean, with Melusine ready to go, we should be fine. Look, you know, I know, you know how this works. Let's get down to business and start murdering each other, okay? No, just play the Melusine, John. Take your time. Only card I'm missing. There's a couple cards I'm missing that I'm sad that I not have, but I'll make do anyways. Hey, hey, for Troy. Oh, no. I've never seen that before. No. Unbelievable, guys. What is this madness? This. This is impossible. Impossible, guys. Is this an actual deck? A actual deck. I, I do not believe what I'm seeing here. I repeat, I do not believe what I'm seeing here. Wow. Who would have thought people play cards in this day and age? Age. Unbelievable. What can I say? What can I say? How do I even play this round now? I was ready for cheese. Well, let's go nice and slow. Your removal options should be pretty bad, so I'm just going to go like this. Yeah, things ticking. That should be on this side. That was a mistake. Mind dropping this deck in the Google Doc sheet? Uh, sure. Let me just make sure I have a copy of base this. Yeah, I guess I am coming with this. All right, goodbye, Melusine. Yeah, fine. In the end, the this the one? Yeah, I got you covered. So let me do this and I'll put it in the Google Doc seat. Second? Do I think they have second boiling oil? They might. That would surprise me, but they might. Reinforcements is not what you want to see here. I mean, there's two lines of play here. I like them both a lot. Uh, will not need just Skellige Storm this going plus six to turn. Dude, ah, you know what? I do actually like that play. I want to punish them for this row. Not the card they want to see. And I'll go add this to the list. This is my first Skellige deck of the season. Weather control. A little bit of luck, please. God is dead. Oh, wow. No, not, not eight. It's 10 slash 6, 2021. There you go. On the sheet now. Did not go in front of any reds, so I've let you be bricked, which is okay. Um, how much do I want to commit? How much have you committed? You haven't committed a ton, a ton. But it's not like you haven't committed nothing. So I'm not going to play you. So I'll bring Hubbard out. Deal my three. Click. Murder your row. Okay. That felt really good. Troy's fine. Next. They can still win here. Essentially. Ooh, friggin'. I like the tech. I like the tech. Okay. Need a little bit of luck. There we go. Uh, Skeletal Storm is not an alchemy card. I would like it to be an alchemy card, but they might need to rename it. But I would very much like that. Does Melusine deserve a nerf? I used to be thin. It's pretty hard to be talking about nerfs uh, one day into the season, I would say. Tempted to pass here, but I really do like also. There's a couple lines of play which are pretty nasty here. I think Fulmar is pretty strong. No, let's not be greedy, John. I think the answer is you. Oh, is it you for Melusine, though? No, I think you go for Messenger of the Sea here, John. I want to be, give me a little bit of luck, baby. Nope. I want to be pressuring here. I'm, I'll commit the 13-er to make sure I win it. There we go. I think I'd rather commit the 13 here and set up the Fulmar for a long round three. But I think we need to bleed this round because I think they have Siege in hand. Some other nasty stuff. We're just sad if it can be organic. It's going to be alchemy. I agree. That's fair. That's fair. You can just rename bank to bank heist. Oh, we got that. That's really good. 
It's actually a very strong hand in retrospect. Wow, his hand's wicked strong. Um, I'll keep. Straight up keep. Now, I confess, this might be greedy, for the record. This might be too greedy on my part. I'm playing into the round. And really, it's just because I want to see if I can bleed the siege out. I know you're packing on Seas. I know you got some good stuff. And this might be a mistake. But only one way to find that. We got to try the lines of play, right? What is... Uh, all right, he's doing your answer for that. Maybe, maybe getting Melusine was correct there in Retro. No, that was definitely correct in retrospect. I should have gone for the mellow scene there. Oh well. That's life, I suppose. I got the siege out. And now we get to go a little bit mean here. So we heat wave the siege. Go. Take your two. Good. Vernon Roche? You gotta be kidding me. No way. It's Frigate Ballista, but Ballista's not very strong here. Actually, Frigate, I would argue it's almost borderline bad. Now I get to do... Fulmar. Rain. Rain. Go. Play you. Three options. Obviously, we have to take Delirium. Delirium back row is very strong. Need a little bit of luck. I'm trying to hit the Foltus Pride. There we go. Storm here. Take your proc. Alright, go. Wow. Why not pass? I, don't, I mean, a pass was uh, something I was debating as a mistake, but I don't really think it matters. Okay, so we're in a short round three. Yeah, like a... Is that enough? Oh, yeah, 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 it's enough. It's enough by one point, literally because of this. Okay, so at this point, it's just a short round for both of us, but our short rounds can be really dangerous. Because it's very easy to play unitless if we want to. Right is best draw. Do I still have my one year romance here? I think I might have used it all. Okay, gutting. Giga Scorpion. Royal Decree is a near perfect hand. Uh, to the point where I'm actually pretty comfortable running it. Ah, uh, because they have to play first, right? So we can go. Yep. I'm just pretty confident Royal Decree grabbing a little Hoffer is going to be higher than anything Skellige can put out here. There, we know their engines. Engines are typically loyal. I like that play. Because you're like, well, let's get rid of Melusine. In case it is going to be a right finisher. But now if you kept any removal, you lose the game. If it's a NC engine, it's something over six. There's the five. And Brick's the leader ability here. Or Brick's the ability there. So I can go in here. Get out a little half through, half through, And I'm going to take my way. In. G G. That's pretty good, eh? Pretty darn good. Good game, good game. Like, look, it's just sitting there. Eight points. What a great card for a Peller, or not Peller, but uh, Xavier or a Squirrel. Yeah, and the good news is I have, like, no units in this deck. We're actually exactly 13 units. The entire deck is just kill them. Okay, I got rid of Covenant of Steel here. That's fine. In the end... Don, are you really that dense? Heck yeah, I am. Okay, I missed a point. If I put this here, I literally get a point. I'm just getting used to it. 
I don't want to rush Xavier quite yet. I want them to get more stuff in the grave. Coming though. Kind of makes me sad. If I put this here, this entire, like, it, it's actually affecting negatively multiple. Like, um, I, like a re in a significant way, it's currently affecting a line of play. Because then I would have Melisine going twice as fast, and voila. Well, uh. Alright. Yeah, Mr. You saw the captain. I appreciate those kind words. Misplayed it as well, covering me. Like, ah, Dr. Zondi, I'll go back and forth on the discard package. I just feel like it's so important to win round one these days against traps and meditating mages that I worry. Yeah, I don't know if I like all attacks in the deck. I'm most tempted to actually put in a squirrel in addition to Xavier. Graveyard's becoming such a big deal. Stripping away your opponent's hopes and dreams is great. I think the card that's catching everyone off guard that people are underestimating right now by far is alumni. My Fill me with like, Rio against Super Aqua, he's just sitting there doing nothing right now. Look at look at him. Look at that Chad. Hmm, would we are gonna be better put rain on the board? One rain each row before executing them all? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I used to be thin. But remember, it's kind of really tough because you basically have three resers in Skellige right now. I got Big Drufa's right. You've got uh, Fukusa. Fukusa? Fukusa. And then you have Big Drufa's right recast off of Bride of the Sea, which is not hard to do if two charges Rage of the Sea. And you have to justify that over bringing back Fulmar and Melusine. High bar, guys. Like, great. Do I even care? Not particularly. Go wild, buddy. Do you have Heat Wave or Spores? I think if you had Heat Wave, my Melissa would have eaten in here. Just see what John's doing. Indeed. I just don't think it's enough, man. I mean, do I just pass here? It would be devastating, right? Yeah. You win. Right, because like my Melusine carryover is set up, and if you don't have a tall removal, if you have spores in your hand, you're going to eat it here. I'm up plus 20, even if you get these engines going, but you don't have like a cultist. Not sure, get another plus 2 here. Melusine will be out of 12. And honestly, I missed points, made some mistakes here. Great sword nightmares. <laughs> is that enough? No. Next, please. So we have card advantage. Permit might be enough here if you combo everything correctly. But I'm not sure it is. Okay, you go to three. So you'll heal the eight, five, six. This got. Is it enough? Two, four, six. Six plus uh, eight or four here, six, ten. You're short one. I win plus two. All right, three resin cards. Adam's not giving the Shaman target. Real gun value is awesome. I seem as good bait. I don't think he's good bait there because McCran. There, are people are gonna figure out that he's a terrible card and stop running him. Yeah, but it's like it's a matter of like. Yeah, there he is. GG. How's her hand look? Oh. You're a little early. We've got our near for once. What a nice tree. There's the mellow scene that will take the heat wave from. This hand's actually fairly darn good. Hmm. Gotta find a little half through. I guess I can always tutor it up though. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just fire up the Melusine Cultist, and we'll buff you up. See what they got. I think of out of Neomancy in the discard package, but need space for Xavier. I've debated discard package. It's so strong, but it's so weak if they have that crazy setup. Yeah, gutting slash, but yeah, gutting slash the draw strat. The way I'm running it is I need to make sure. No way, you're running. You're okay, so it's a trap deck. It's fine. Let's open a Melusine then as our next play and work from there. I was curious. I thought if they're traps though and they have to play Serpent and reveal their traps, then we know we all in immediately. The other choice is go for the Getty. As like a gather a Getty weather package, something like Bridge or Bride of the Sea, abandon the half fruits and actually just play Alchemy. Actually, that's a really weird question to ask, John. Is this actually as good? Well, it's guaranteed six. Is it as good as Tears of the Siren? Okay. I know it should be. My thought was, well, they're traps, which is the case here. So we're going to all in in round one, in round two. That whatever they're going to play here is a high chance it's second serpent trap. And it's a high chance it's incinerating. So I didn't want to run out the messengers of the sea. They didn't want to play the phrase blessing. I wanted to get a little bit more information. Now we know there's only serpent trap is done. And we can just all in and kill them here. Sleep. No insult. Put that there, get everything buffing. And uh, we should win here. Good stuff. Did I forget to you use Xavier there? Oh, there just wasn't anything in the grave. Yeah, let's keep using Xavier. Swords I smile at, weapons love to scorn. Oh, you go, Messenger of the Sea. I go here. There. There. Go. All right, we're in the game. You have to put Mel, uh, put Melusine. Melusine, yeah, Melusine is really good. I really like the Melusine. We're going to now banish target. Yeah, McRander, I thought about that, but I don't like playing on my opponent's ignorance. People are going to figure out that it's not worth it. As for Gremist, it's just a Troy in the way, and I can brute force. So I believe, I truly believe I can brute force my way through it, so I'm not too worried about it. Xavier, yeah, well, Xavier uh, with the Banish 3 back in the day was really weak. The new one's much stronger. Banish your most important thing, and then if your opponent can't answer it, punish their graveyard, forcing very greedy decks to play a little smarter. They could honestly bring back that effect on another card. Wouldn't be bad having to have people choose. But I'm pretty sure I knew Xavier is stronger. Here comes our Neuromancy. What are, you, what are they going to get? Neuromancy Heatwave, maybe? It'll be the play. No, you don't have anything. Okay. I'm surprised we're honestly still playing this round. I don't really see what the point of this one is, but teach that one, I guess. I don't have alchemy in my hand. What do I want here? Is it just a Melusine for another cultist? It might be. I don't really want to run you out until next round. He's too in particular. I don't want to, but we should be able to win this game. Deck? Ooh, I don't have it here. Got to cover. Uh, Yugalu. Uh, Yugalu. What's the strategy with that? Great question. Uh, that's going to be... Weirdly enough, this is bluffing to be a horn or something else. It's probably going to be a pitfall, though. Nope. Okay. Maybe actually just back in that. Nah, just gotta keep this ticking. A uh, strategy of Jack is just win. I uh, out damaging here. For our opponent plays, they lose the game. Okay. Really? What's your last card? 
You lose. They have to pass here. Which is good because we're actually sitting on a really good card. Okay. Uh, strategy is just to damage him constantly of rain, get our ma messengers of the sea to absurd. Like, that's a 19, that's a 7 is small, but 19 is pretty good. And uh, we're just going to keep him on their back foot here. So all you want to do here is find right, pull it out immediately, and win the game off of it. Great hand. Brutal Giant just took their lunch money. I did just take their lunch money. So, I have two lines of play. I'm going to be on the safe side here. Rainier, Mancy. Right. And let's go ahead and bring back Melusine. We've seen both Serpent Traps, so they have no answer to this. All we're looking for is feign death from their hand, and they lose the game. Enough of this fast. Bedry, angry. Do I just pass? Uh, it's incinerating trap, and yeah, let's pass. All right. It's incinerating and probably pitfall. No, we've already seen pitfall. No, I think we haven't seen pitfall. There's an incinerating trap for three. Incinerating, incinerating. Eldane puts you at twelve. So, it's not enough. Yeah, just a quick pass here. Oh, Vernicel. Okay. The Eldine is bricked. It's just us first being deaf in the finals. Oh, no. We just win. Okay. Uh, well, that works. I'll hook everybody up with this. This one felt good. Good game. Not early for you, bud. Well, our is not terrible. That is weird. That's a dangerous one. So, to me, this indicates ball shenanigans. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. Well, maybe it kind of is. Imperial, I think we want to get uh, Melusine early on, and we need to start setting up everything pretty quick. Yeah, that's right, baby. Got the Tecco Whale Harpoon. Get yourself a good Italian cough, my friend. Oh, Gabriel M., thank you so much. Thank you for that generous support. You get myself a coffee? I will, I will. Uh, I just finished my coffee, too. My little decaf coffee, but I'll get myself a nice coffee one of these days. Thank you so very much. They're going to hate this in about two seconds. Hey. Let me go ahead and treat you to a Melusine. Play Melusine, you play Yenvo. But thank you so much, Gabrielle. I really do appreciate the dono there. Helps make it all possible. And uh, thanks for being a part of the family. Elimination, the person who drinks decaf is trying not to get totally addicted to coffee. There's no way you go for Purify and don't lock it immediately, but to each their own, yes. Play you. I'll put you here. Turn. Come here again. Really weird. Okay. Right, make your own copy of it. I don't care. Like now we have a little bit too much, but like not enough that I would want Ryu again, right? The elimination, all you do, it's like, uh, you just like this coffee? Yeah, elimination, do you not like the taste of coffee? There's other sources of caffeine out there. There's energy drinks that are super sweet. You can go for, I think it's, I forget, there's like caffeinate, there's like a sparkling water kind of thing that added caffeine to. Um, there is black tea, all kinds of great teas. Okay. Like, why would you not want any of that? Am I the crazy one here, guys? Coffee's grand. This is weird. I Either they have a... They're, either A, they're going to blow Ivor this round, which is great for us. Or they have... I don't know. I don't know why this is a, getting allowed to be so big right now. Roll is really weird. This card scares me. Melusine... Well, Dr. Zondi are low-key. Melusine was always... Basically... That... I mean, let's be real. We both know how this goes. Like, am I not just going to murder that in two seconds? I'm fine pushing in this round. 
Because Melusine would trade two damage on herself for four damage of rain. Basically, two returns of rain, four damage. So low key, Melusine may be this big point slam, but the real value, especially in round one, is that constant rain. She gets basically a plus two as a seven for ten, which is why she's so good. And Veil is just icing on the cake. Yeah, I don't know, Elimination. I got nothing for you, man. I got nothing for you. Drink whiskey for the uh, for the flavor? No, no, Exoskeleton. You're you haven't figured it out. People like whiskey. Now, I have drunk alcohol that I've liked, and I've drunk some that I haven't, but most people drink because they like drinking, my friends. We have to. No, no. Exoskeleton, my friend, you're living a sad life. Speaking of sad things, okay. Terra Nova is not what you want to see here, actually. This is really bad. This is really bad. I don't know if they win the round, either. Like, this is not what you want to be against. Feel like a storm. Freaking awesome, guys. This feels so dirty. Look how many points this is. That's going. <laughs> so, this is like 12 off Skellig Storm. There it is. GG. Absolute disaster for them. You're early. You. Are you even necessary? I don't think you're necessary. I'm so. I think he talked about a little. Okay, cool. I'm gonna play you. It's enslaved. Ooh, five was not what I was expecting. Five, huh? Oh, wait. I'll, I'll let you kill it. I have a second one. I'm back. Ah, what a lovely day, guys. I feel I love this part of the patch. It's my favorite part. You're chilling, you're chillaxing. Oh, yeah. A friendly reminder I know there's a good crowd here. One, if you've not changed your password on Twitch, there was a huge data breach on Monday. Chain, and it just got announced last night. Uh, at least it was leaked last night. I've been waiting for you. Now you're gonna love me. I know you really do. That really is a shame. You're lucky I didn't draw delirium today. I do. I, I mean, I make... You technically, actually, it's probably true. You probably could figure out how much I make off of it. Actually, this is fine now. I do have to buff here. Because if they ping, Tourney Joust ping, it dies. I don't really want to let it die yet. New chair money for sure. Thanks, guys. Well, after all the generous donations, yes, yeah, so we're making progress on that. In the end... You're not going to live, but it's fine. But no, I do not make much. Ah, oh, let's see. I see a prepared background for Rage of the Sea plays. Thank you. Yeah, I know, right? Got the little blue. I moved it over until I fixed it last night. So now it's a more awkward, like... Really? Okay. Double really. Do I care? I always find it to be the really interesting question here of like, how much do I actually care about that? I always wonder that. See, like, I always find that play really weird because it's like, oh, we're going to beat you on even potentially. Well, I think I think you just I just I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna lose this game. I'm gonna see if I can bait out a tall removal here. I'm gonna let them beat me on even. I'm gonna pass after this. Because if you blow this now, I'm sitting on heat wave and like our deck doesn't care about you bleeding in. I can easily lean into like a Melusine. How mean me this deck? Probably like a 15 uh Rourke. Welcome to the chat, by the way. It's def this deck is definitely I've designed it to win games and be good against the first week worth of meta. But I think will come as well as what's on the ladder right now. Avenge it's usually after week one, after everybody, I know at least all you guys are taken care of. You have some good decks, right? Because I'm just going to pass here. Right? It'd be funny if I actually just killed you out, right? But... Like, how valuable is last say to you, bud? Like, this is where I always get really confused. I'll pass. Okay, so Damien's out, but you basically go minus one card advantage. Like... Okay, you get last save, but you blow your leader ability, you're not getting it back. You had to commit Fion Damien. 
I spent Giga Score. Like, if we look at, I, I just don't understand this line of play they took. I don't understand. I like on a personal level, do not understand their lines of play. Just look how awkward it is, right? So they spent eight, nine, eleven in leader ability. I spent five, five, four, and six. It's just so awkward. What do you do with that? Um, okay. So like they get their wish, right? They get the bleed, but I can also be really mean. Delirium back row. It dies. We have a two out. So if you have like assassin stuff, you can't really go anywhere. Practitioner is fine. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. I have a pocket now for Melusine. Okay. I know. It's good, but it's planned. Ouch, Aaron's not chewing me out. How about gifting a pack for five, one million talking points? Uh, Mentalist said, I have no money, so like, no. <laughs> With all due respect. I appreciate the suggestion. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I need money. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the hard truth of it all, right? All right, we'll just start building up a Melusine. Like, that's the kicker. Uh, in the long run, it'd be nice to do. Well, I'm, I'm not sold on gifting. Like, as a really fun, crazy event, it'd be sick. But, uh, not once you reach Mr. Streamer, of course. Yeah, one day when I have money. Yeah, so I have lots of cool things I want to do. But we're building there. We're slowly getting there, plugging the plain talk money. Do you like investing in stuff, learning about business, finance, improving yourself? Plain talk money is there. Plugging it, because that's step two in my master plan of growing this channel and the family to being even greater. All right, like, okay. What are you going to do here? Royal decree? Okay. What do you need me to do? Interesting. I don't want to kill that, John. Hmm. Well, none of my units will do it. Oh, that's a lie. Okay, I'm getting way hard printer. I feel like I'm definitely the villain in the story. My four opponents just struggling. They're like, what what is this thing? I'm like, it's a whale harpooner! It's a whale harpooner! Uh like now what? Like the thing that I've done really well, this round they get they can bleed as much as they want, right? So they can force those things like Royal Decree and Bride of the Sea for me. But I still think they've committed way more than I have here. Oh yeah, that's a doozy. Sure. I'm tempted to play right for the cultist, I want the eye. But you're correct, play. So there's kind of two parts to this. One is I want the Melusine to keep growing. And the other part is I know your tactics. Experimental Remedy is one of the best tactics you can play. Uh, I can always just use, even if you get stuck being a four card, like it's not really that big of a deal. But I can break the Experimental, it'd be pretty good. Meno, going for the Experimental, getting nervous here. Two, okay. Don't feel nice playing it. Honestly, it's not. I don't think it's as strong as I think people fear. All right, cool. Right, so this is where you go here, here, here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see what they got. That's it. 
Wouldn't it be hilarious if they actually outpointed me here? If they played Experiments Remedy, I would cry. It would be very funny. Mental says with a big brain comment. Maybe, maybe. But he's very loyal. He's a very loyal individual. Ah, <sighs> command this to gold and add gold. All right, we're done here. Thank you. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, we have our Neuromancy. Get our Fuchsia Briefs back, I think. Do you have Major Man though? Okay, cool. I want to try. Wow, what a hand. Jeez, okay. Welcome back. Uh, back road have been better in case of pikemen, but I don't really think it matters. Yeah, the Yenvo. I don't know if they can play it, though. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Welcome to the Plain Talk family. I'm glad you joined us here today as we eat some chicken par as we eat some chicken parmesan. Welcome aboard. If you like what you see, check out all the socials. And welcome, my friend, to the Plain Talk family. Honored you're here. Flattered, even. I would go as far as to say. Oh, come on. Is this not the good stuff, my friend? Is this not the best stuff you've ever seen in your entire life? Because it we absolutely is. Okay, ready to see a sick play, guys? Ready for ready for true fear? Oh, uh, did I mess this up already? I might have messed this up. Let's see. I mean, I just want to know how this interaction works because when I play her. So you, I only get to work off of that. I don't go higher. Like, because I would have, would I have access to the right? Yeah, because it hasn't proc yet. Okay. Well, a little bit sad, but that's all right. Majorme is looking pretty hot here, so I'll just take that. And we'll just pop this here, pop there. Oh no, it spawns on the opposite row. No, it did proc it. It did proc it. It worked as intended. Uh, yeah, my dear, my dear friend here, buddy, buddy old pal. All right, you're gonna Vilga for it. Um, can I little half through, little half through off the top, please? Well, you got your best hit. I won't deny it. Hope it was worth it. My last card gets plus five immediately. Uh, one card, please. Twenty points. One card, please. Twenty points. I don't even think I played that properly in terms of everything. New shares tonight, fortunately. G G. Talk about a clean kill, eh? Shout out to pseudoname81, McRandar, and Ahmed Ali for all their generous support on Patreon.